Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Pixlr. And so if you go to the Chrome Web Store and look up Pixlr, it will show you the Pixlr Editor app. That's the one that I recommend you use. I'll be using it in the tutorial today. You can also download Pixlr apps for your phone and you can use a version of Pixlr just in your browser or download a Pixlr desktop editor version. But uh, if you wanna follow along with my tutorial today, I'm using Pixlr Editor. If you don't have it already, there'll be an Add to Chrome option, but since I already have it, it's not there. So I'm going to go ahead and access all of my Chrome apps. And you see Pixlr Editor right here. I'm going to open it up. And then you see some different options. You can just create an image from a blank, or you can open an image from your computer or URL or the library. I'm going to go ahead and open image from computer. So if you're doing this week's challenge and you want to add Skippy John Jones to a photo from your summer vacation, you'd go ahead and open that photo right now. I've just taken a general background image of the LRC. And then if you want to add Skippy John Jones in, you can go to layer and open an image as a layer. And then you can select the Skippy John Jones image that you've downloaded to your desktop. And you see Skippy John Jones right there. Now he's looking a little bit tiny, so you might want to go to Edit, Free Transform, and then you can go ahead and make him as large as you want. And I'm gonna click Enter, and that will set the transform. And then I'm going to click this tool over here to the right, uh, to the left, that is called the Move tool and I'm going to use the Move tool to move Skippy John Jones around wherever I want him to be. And so that's an easy way that you can add Skippy John Jones to your picture. Now, I wanna show you how to use a few more advanced features that do not involve Skippy John Jones here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this layer and click the trash can to delete the layer. And then, I am going to go ahead to the crop tool in the upper left and I'm going to select the area that I want to keep and then hit enter and that will crop the picture to the size that I selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this to make the lovely header image that you see at the top of Google Classroom for the PD Express. So I'm going to add a new layer. And adding new layers really just gives you extra control over your image. And so if you've used Photoshop before, you, you'll be familiar with this feature. And if not, it just basically allows you to edit one layer without affecting the other layers. And so I am going to go to the draw a shape tool over on the left and I'm going to make sure a rectangle is selected and then I want to make sure that this rectangle for the smoke stack in our LRC train matches the LRC building so I'm going to go up to the top here under fill shape and click that color and then you have a color selector wheel you can enter the color code or select a color from around the wheel I want to make sure it matches the building, so I'm going to move it so that I can see the building and use this eyedropper tool to make it match the building color there. And it will select the building color, so I'm clicking OK. And then I'm going to just create a little smokestack at the head of my LRC train there. And it looks like there's a little bit of a gap, so I'm going to collect, select the move tool and then I'm going to move it just a little bit down so it's right on top of the LRC train there. Move it over a little bit to the left. There we go. And so next, I need to create some smoke and I'm going to make a new layer for that again. So I go to layer, new layer, and I'm going to use the pencil, pencil tool for this. And it will use whatever color is selected as the main color down here. And I want it to be gray because it is smoke after all. And so I'm going to go ahead and select a nice kind of gray shade. Yeah, that looks nice there. And I want to be able to see a bit more up close. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. 
And then I'm going to go back to this pencil tool and I'm just going to draw a kind of smoke puff there. Okay, so I'm going to draw a few more smoke puffs trailing behind this LRC PD Express train while it is in motion and they're slowly getting higher up and they're being left behind where they're out of the frame and you can't see them anymore. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make the image a bit smaller so that I can see it again. So I'm going to take it down to 26%. You know what? I think I might actually take it down to 16% so I can see it all at once. Maybe I'll compromise 20%. There we go. So I have the whole image on my screen there. And so I want to make sure that the smoke is, looks a bit dusty. And so I'm going to use a filter on it. And I am going to diffuse this smoke. And I'm going to also uh, going to diffuse it a bit more. See how that looks. And I can also blur it just a little bit. And now that looks nice and smoky for our image there. And now I want to add the text for the PD Express. So I'm going to go to the text box here and I'm going to select a nice blue part of the sky that's nice and clear. And I'm going to type in the PD Express. I want it to be bigger than that. So I'm going to select the size and increase it. And then I'm going to play with the font a bit so I can have it look different. I think, I think the engraved font looks pretty cool and I might actually make it a bit bigger now. There we go, the PD Express. And so for one last finishing touch, I want it to look a bit old timey. So I'm going to go back to our original background layer and I'll select that on the right here. I'm going to go to adjustment and it has right here an old photo, an automatic adjustment, nice and easy. I click on that and voila, I have my old timey PD Express. And you know what? I think I'm also going to see if I can make my smokestack old timey as well so it blends in better there we go and so there we have the PD Express header and I'm going to go ahead to file and save and I want to save it on my computer I'll just save it on my desktop and so I'm going to name it PD Express header I'm going to save it as a JPEG and I'm going to click OK and then a dialog box for my computer is popping up. I'm just going to click save again and save it to my desktop. And there we go. I've made the header for the PD Express. And I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and you get a sense of some of the fun things that you can do in editing photos with Pixlr. Thanks.